By far, the hardest time lapse I edited in my recent solar eclipse video was this one. And I only used it for three seconds. And before I spent hours stabilizing it, it used to look like this. So I began to spend the next four hours painstakingly tracking it in After Effects. The smaller that I could get the tracking square, the faster the program would go. But sometimes I'd have to make the square really large during the times when the sun jumped all over the place as I adjusted the tripod. Any frames that were unusable had to be duplicated over by previous frames, and then re-exported into After Effects. This had to be done many times as I proceeded. After Effects also spent a fair amount of time freezing up on me. When the sun was about to disappear, I was no longer able to track it. So I took a still of the sun from earlier and matched the end and beginning of the shot to it. This would allow micro shakes from the wind to appear, so after I manually stabilized it, I did my best to continue the tracking to remove those shakes. But this was very difficult as the sun got thinner. Halfway through, I previewed the track so far, and it was pretty close, but still needed some tweaks. When I was done, I was able to marvel at the longest tracker I've ever made in After Effects. When I finally applied the stabilization, it wasn't perfect, but it turned out pretty well. I tried to further apply general stabilization afterwards, but this just bogged down my CPU to literally no end. So I gave up on that idea, and after four hours of stabilizing, I realized I never should have gone without a sky tracker. 